So as you guys know, I've been playing around with a couple drones over the last couple months. I thought maybe this is a time where we can actually look at the actual output from three of them. One's a 1440p and the other two are 2160p or 4K. So I'm going to just do a quick video here. I'm not going to show a lot of footage because if you want to see the full versions, I've got the full versions on the channel. We're going to do a quick one just to kind of show the differences in quality and how the stability works on the three different models. First up is the DRC, spelled D-E-E-R-C, D65 drone. This is a two-axis mechanical stabilized gimbal. It's 2550 by 1440, progressive scan, 30 frames per second. So it's not a full 4K, it is between 1080p and 4K, exactly halfway. So this would be what would be referred to as a 3K camera because your standard 1080p is 2K. 4K is twice the resolution, both horizontally and vertically as 1080p. And this one's midway in between. So we'll call this one a 3K. Very stable, it's a mechanical stabilizer. What's gonna follow is a electronic stabilized drone and it uses just electronic stabilization, digital stabilization, which is nowhere near as good as this. Now, this one is good. I got no complaints with this one. It actually works very good. But what we're gonna show you third, well, that kills this one. I don't want this video to go on very long. This is just a quick, quick demo. But as you can see, this one here works really quite well with the two axis. So it has a, a vertical up and down axis and it has the, the skew, the Y axis or the roll, I should say. It's a roll and up and down. You can tilt the camera down and tilt it up. When you fly side to side, the drone tends to roll and that's what the second axis compensates for but it does not compensate for rotation if you follow what I'm getting at whereas the three axis compensates for the rotation as well which just gives you that extra level of control but two X is still very good as can be seen Up next is the Hollystone HS360, which is a 4K EIS stabilized drone. Now EIS stabilizing works quite well, except for when you have abrupt pitching like that. Start, sudden starts and stops can cause the picture to bob a bit when you do abrupt stops and starts or rolls. And of course, if the weather is bad, like today there was a bit of wind that was throwing the drone around a bit. When you're moving, it's fine. It's when you make an abrupt stop or abrupt direction change, the camera tends to uh, overcompensate, let's just say, and you get a bit of a, a shake. But other than that, I think the picture on this is not bad at all. It is a true 4K. 
so it can shoot some nice pictures. And if you're careful with the controller and don't do abrupt stops and starts, it's actually gonna look quite well. But I'm gonna keep this one relatively short and get on to the, the grand champion here because, well, this one here, as I say, not as good. Just, just gives you an idea. If you're buying a drone, you do want to get one that has an active gimbal, either a two or a three axis. So we've seen this one. I think we've seen enough. Let's move on to the three axis. Finally, we're going to look at the Venix V11 Pro. This is a three axis mechanical stabilization with EIS. And this one here makes the other ones look pale by comparison. I think the DRC D65 is probably a good budget drone to learn on, but as far as picture quality goes, nothing compares to this one. It was an overcast day when I was shooting this. I'm looking into the overcast. That's why it's a bit, a bit uh, foggy there. That's what it was looking like. It was overcast. And I think I probably got to clean the lens because the first time I put it up, it was kind of, well, misty out and I probably got a bit of crap on the lens when I was flying it because of course the props throwing all the crap from the air right onto the, onto the camera itself. But um, yeah, quality wise, this one here, it just blows everything else away. Thank you. 